Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvania toy collector, and it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people. And today, we will be reviewing a Transformers fast food toy from 1997. So this is an old toy by today's standards from 1997, Transformers Beast Wars. And this guy might be called something else, but he looks like Tarantulas to me from Beast Wars, the way he's designed. But now I'm going to get down to some Beast Mode comparisons. Here's the other 1997 figure. We got the uh, Panther, a.k.a. Ravage, my Ravage custom. Rat Trap from the Beast Machines McDonald's toy line. Why not? That's all there is to say for bug mode. Let's get down to transformation. Pull these arms out. Cordy and the legs out like so. Look at that. He's got some bug abs. <laughs> That's funny. But in bug mode, he's got visible head and arm syndrome. And leg syndrome. So, yeah. This is a good-looking figure from 1997, if I do say so myself. And not a bad-looking Predacon. So, next, we're going to do a comparison with Panther, a.k.a. Ravage. My Ravage custom. So, here we got Predacon Ravage and Predacon Tarantulas. Looking very mean. And ready to crush the Maximals. Why not? And of course, we're going to show off the bot mode of Rat Trap. Why not? But here we got Rat Trap as well. The trick is getting them to stand without them falling over. How many Beast Wars toys do I own as of 2023? Here we got Transformers Kingdom's Rhinox. He's a big boy. That's four. The original Beast Wars re-release Rat Trap. Because he's Rat Trap. Why not? And he just knocked down a few bots. Uh, Rat Trap is too heavy to stand on his own because he literally goes falling down. With ease. And I get them to stand, that's the point. Getting them to stand is one thing. Come on. Rat trap. That works, more or less. But that makes about... Five, and here's another vintage Beast Wars drill bit. If you remember, I did him with the Halloween skid with Andrea be like, time for a checkup. <laughs> I loved doing that skid from way back when. It was so funny. She was like, wait, you're not my dentist. <laughs> Yeah, that was a funny skit I did with a figure. We got another Beast Wars. I don't know his name. Optimus Primal. Vertebrae Repaint, which is a Maximal. I forget his name now. And how many Maximals do I own? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I own nine Predacons and Maximals in one Transformers Beast Wars collection. And are these Beast Wars Inspire figures worth adding to your collection? Yes, they are fun to mess around with. And I am so glad to have some Beast Wars in my collection. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on. And rock on and rock out. YouTube land.